As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing dominance, the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize.
sea wolf has detected vibrations in the water and is searching for their source. waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and used pregnancy tests. ancient sailors long to recognize that certain ocean creatures meant them harm. Chief among these was the shark.
star-like shape of the Barracuda is instantly recognizable and unmistakably found. Shark must so often meet as enemies. No one's revolting there, but we need to watch out on Dead Horse Lake. Multiple shark attack reports. Let's show this shark what the Coast Guard's all about! Little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips. In real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands.
A catfish is easily distinguished from other species by their smooth, scaleless bodies and signature whiskers. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation.
a home near the retired nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. Shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help you with her reign of terror.
mini barges feature plenty of storage. Whether it's for a few cases of your favorite macro brew or some baby mice wine you picked up in Chinatown. My college buddy Jeff has a party barge for sale if you're willing to go out to Hot Springs, Arkansas. is an opportunistic feeder and a solitary hunter. Another victory for the underwater assassin. the rest of the season. metaphor for human fallibility in the face of avoidable catastrophe.
regular there at Flamingo Joe's. He can say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only place to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on there. Do not serve me. As far back as 492 BCE, Greek historian Herodotus described how sharks had devoured an entire Persian war fleet off the Thessalian coast. the same perfectly designed predator that swam the oceans when Tyrannosaurus Rex ruled the land.
I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just saying. <laughs> I've got all day! I really should get them polarized last night. It's hurting me. I know it. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. To be honest, with all that scarring, I found that shark a 